Hi everyone! Today we're going to make jello straight from the box. Surprisingly, how to make jello is one of the top posts on flowerommyfingers.com, so I figured it was time to make a video and actually show you in person how to mix up jello. Now, this is a time sensitive recipe because everything can start to gel as you're mixing it up, so you want to make sure that you have your ingredients handy and ready to go. Now as we go through this recipe, I'm going to give you some handy tips. We're going to mix it up uh, regular style first, which is going to do ordinary jello, and then we're going to do it the speed set way. So I'm going to show you how to mix it up the speed set way so it's ready in 30 to 90 minutes versus 4 hours. The regular way takes about 4 hours. Now for the ingredients, all you need is a box of jello and I'm using a 3 ounce box. You can get a 6 ounce box but you'll need more water for that. So today we're using a 3 ounce box and then you'll need boiling water and cold water. For the speed set method uh, we'll go over the ingredients a little bit later but you will need some ice cubes for that. As we go along I'll also show you how to beef up your jello and kind of make it a little more fun, a little special ways to do that so that if you're making it for a celebration then you can make it more festive and fun for that occasion. I like to make jello quite a bit because my kids like it. They like it for a snack. I usually keep several boxes on hand. There's all different flavors and all different colors, so they can really have fun with it. We like to make jello jigglers. Um, but one of my favorite flavors is orange. It's always been a favorite flavor. I like to keep a good stock on hand because I like it especially during flu season. Um, sometimes when we're sick, Jello is all we feel like eating, so there's multiple reasons to keep Jello in your kitchen. Right now, we're going to mix up a box of orange Jello and we're going to do it the slow set way. First thing to add to your bowl is three ounces of Jello. So you'll just put the powder right into your bowl. Then you'll add one cup of boiling water to that Jello powder. And you need to mix that for about two minutes, just stirring until it's completely dissolved. Now I like to boil my water using our electric tea kettle. You can boil it on the stove, microwave, whatever you have. Wait, hey, that smells so good. Love orange jello. And lastly, once your jello has dissolved, you just add in one cup of cold water and stir that in really well. And that's it. Now it's ready to go into the refrigerator. When you go to put your jello in the refrigerator, be sure and leave it uncovered because covering it can actually cause it to take longer to set up. So just leave it in the bowl and stick it in the fridge. No cover is necessary. Now it'll take about four hours for this to uh, gel up enough that you can eat it. One way that you can tell that it's ready is that it no longer sticks to your fingers when you touch it. So keep that in mind as you're, you are waiting for your jello. I'm going to stick this in the fridge and then I'll show you the speed set method. Now we're going to do the speed set method and all you need again is a 3 ounce box of jello. You're going to need 3 quarter cup of boiling water and then you're going to need a half a cup of cold water and we're going to be adding ice to that, so you'll need a bowl of ice cube candy. Now this time we're going to make cherry. So we're going to go ahead and pour our three ounces of jello into the bowl. Then we're going to add three quarter cup of boiling water. And again, you're going to stir that for about two minutes or until it's completely dissolved. When it comes to the cold water, you're going to have half a cup of cold water in a measuring cup. And then you're going to add ice cubes until that cold water reaches one and a quarter cups.
We are almost there. All right. I think we've got one and a quarter cups of cold water. So now you're going to take that cold ice water and you're going to stir it, ice cubes and all, into your jello. And you're going to stir it until your jello is just slightly thickened. Okay, I think my jello is starting to. See how it's starting to cause a coating on the spoon? I think it's starting to do its thing. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the unmelted ice from this. My kids will love this ice for a snack. Now it's time to put this in the fridge. Now you're ready to put your quick set jello into the refrigerator. Should take between 30 to 90 minutes for it to set up. We're gonna see how this goes. Okay, I got my jello out of the fridge. It's ready to go. As you can see, it's very bouncy and jiggly and it doesn't stick to my fingers. While the quick set is also jiggly, and it did set up pretty quickly within an hour and a half to two hours, so about half the time. Um, it still has kind of a liquidy film on top. You can see on my finger when I touch it. That's okay though because it's still really nice and set up. When I take a spoonful it's ready to go. So the quick set method was successful. I'm ready to dish some of this out. Let's see what it does with a spoon. Oh yeah. Perfect jello. So I'm going to dish some up. talked about ways to beef up your jello and you can do all kinds of things with jello. You can make jello cake, you can make jello jigglers, jello shots, jello molds. You can make a mold for just about every occasion from Thanksgiving. You could make a jello turkey. <laughs> yeah. You could make a jello mm -hmm. you could make a jello Christmas tree. Um, there's just all kinds of things you could do with jello. You could make some of those vintage jello molds that they used to make. My mom always put fruit in her jello, so and two of her favorites were strawberries and bananas. So that's another delicious idea with jello. Um, you can make jello cubes. There's just all kinds of things that you can do with jello. It's colorful and it's fun and it's really, really delicious. Especially orange. Orange is my favorite. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so as you can hear, Jello is a winner in my house. Anyway, if you like Jello as much as I do and you want to see more recipes, be sure and like, follow, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>